I like about today, B2? Everything, B1? Everything, B2. Ooh. Ooh. But I especially like the flowers. They are beautiful. <laughs> oh. You know what we should do, B2? Pick some flowers and take them home. That's exactly it, B2. <laughs> You know what else we should do, B1? Pick some more flowers so we can share them with our friends. That's exactly it again, B1. <coughs> now to find a friend to give the flowers to, B2. <coughs> we should give the flowers to a special friend, B1. But all our friends are special, B2. Right, so maybe we should give them to someone who really likes flowers. Good idea. Hi, Bernardis! <coughs> Good morning, Topsy. Wow, I love those flowers. Look at all those colours. Oh, they smell so nice. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's flowers for a friend time. These are for you, Topsy. <gasps> for me? Oh, no, I, I, I can't take your flowers from you. Yes, you can. These are for a friend. And you're that friend. Wow! Thanks, Bananas! Our beehive looks like it's full. Mmm, full of honey. The bees have been busy all spring, collecting nectar from flowers. And more nectar means more honey for me. Uh, and you, too. Hello, teddies! Look at my beautiful flowers! <gasps> They're so pretty! And they smell terrific! Where did you get them? The bananas gave them to me! We just had to pick some and share them with our friends! Oh, these are for me! Well, uh... Oh, bananas! That's so nice of you! The thing is, Amy... What good friends you both are! <laughs> they are for you, Amy! Thank you, Bananas. So, no flowers for us? Aren't we your friends too? Um, of course you're our friends. Two of our very best friends. And there are flowers for you. We just have to get them right away. I'll pick some for Lulu, B2. And I'll pick some for Morgan, B1. Then all our friends will be happy. Hey! Hi, Bananas. Good morning, Pedro. Great flowers. Glad you like them. They're a gift for our friends. Gee, thanks. That's so nice. Thanks, Pedro. What's so nice? Uh, giving me a gift. They are for me, aren't they? Well... Um... Or maybe they're not for me. Maybe I'm not a good enough friend. You're a great friend, Pedro. And these flowers are for you. Thanks, Bananas. Well, I never... Never, ever. Flowers for Pedro. But not for us. We love flowers too. Or aren't we good enough friends to deserve them? Of course you're good friends, Camembert. Two of the best friends we could want. And we do have flowers for you, Camembert. And for you too, Dolly. We just have to go pick them. Right now! We still need flowers for Amy and Morgan. And now we need flowers for Dolly and Camembert too. Otherwise our friends won't think they're our friends anymore. And what about our other friends, B1? Like Rat. And Charlie. And Bernard. Oomph! This will be a big job, B2. We need to be prepared. Right. I'll get a barrow, B2. And I'll get one too, B1. We need lots of flowers, B2. Because we have lots of friends, B1. Wow! <sighs> flowers for you, Camembert. How lovely, B1. Flowers for you, Dolly. How delightful, B2. Sorry, can't stop. Have to go. Flowers, flowers for, for everyone. everyone. 
Those bunches of flowers bigger than the bunch I got. I wouldn't be surprised, Pedro. Dolly and I are very good friends of the bananas. Very, very good friends. Their bunches better not be bigger than mine. Oh, that won't be fair at all. Is that it, B2? That's it, B1. Every one of our friends has flowers. No one missed out. Oh. Oh, we don't have any flowers. What should we do, B2? Go and pick some more, B1. Right. There we are, B1. Our friends have flowers. And we have flowers. Good morning, B2. Good morning, B1. I am so hungry, B2. Breakfast's coming up, B1. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> What's happened, B2? They're all droopy. We must have waited too long to put them in water. Not to worry. We can go out and get some more. And maybe a few extra, in case any of our friends' flowers have drooped too. Good idea, B1. Nice, fresh flowers. Here we come. Whoa! Hello, bees. It's me, Amy. Can you spare us a little honey, please? <laughs> oh, it's OK. If you don't want me to take any, I won't. Why are you so angry? The bananas? You're angry at the bananas? Oh, no! The bananas are in serious trouble! Where should we start, B2? Wherever you like, B1. Whoa! What happened to the flowers, B2? I think we picked them all, B1. And did we make this big mess of the field? I think we did, B1. Are you buzzing, B2? I thought you were buzzing, B1. I'm not buzzing. Then who's buzzing? Aha! Uh -huh. The, the bees, bees are buzzing. That buzz doesn't sound very happy. Not very happy at all. Is something wrong, bees? Us? Are you unhappy with us? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's, it's run fast time! <laughs> Hi, Bananas! Oh, good, good morning, morning Topsy. Topsy. Hey, those flowers you gave me, they were all droopy this morning. Yeah, we know. That's why we were getting more flowers. But we couldn't. Why not? There's why. Bees! Ah! <laughs> bananas, I want to talk to you. We've got a problem, Rat. Just look at these droopy flowers you gave me. We've got a bigger problem than the droopy flowers. We've got a bee problem. Bees? What bees? Oh, those bees. <coughs> if you need me, I'll be uh, <laughs> somewhere else. There's only one thing to be done. We have to talk. Bananas to bees. Uh, uh hello, bees. How are you today? Uh, angry. I'm here to help, Bananas. Thank you, Amy. We need all the help we can get. Please tell us what's upsetting you. Flowers? Like the ones we picked. <gasps> Is this about the Bananas picking flowers? Thumbs up. I've got it! Bees collect nectar from flowers. No flowers means no nectar, which means no honey. So by picking their flowers, we were taking away the bees' food. We only wanted to share the flowers. 
We're so sorry, bees. What can we do to make the bees happy? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. Instead of picking flowers, we'll plant flowers. Is that OK? I think that means yes, bananas. It's flower planting time. Much as I like flowers at home, I like them even better in the fields. Wild flowers should be left to grow naturally. We know that now. Oh, we won't pick them again. We didn't help you either, Bananas. We shouldn't have made you give us all those flowers. And we won't do it again either. Are we doing a good job, B? That buzz sounds like a yes. To show that there are no hard feelings, Bananas, the bees have a present for you. Honey! And you know what that means? Lots of munchy honey cakes. For all our friends. When can we have them, Bananas? Just as soon as we finish planting these flowers, Morgan. So let's get planting! Yay! One more piece, B2. One more it is, B1. Another great fix-it job, B2. Just one of many great fix-it jobs, B1. Hmm, I have just one small question, B2. What's that, B1? Do you think we use too much black tape to fix things? I hadn't thought of that. Maybe we should take a look. I think you're right, B1. There's black tape everywhere. But how can we fix things if we don't use black tape? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. We have to learn about fixing things properly. And there's one person who can tell us all we need to know. It's Let's Visit Charlie time. After you, B1. After you, B2. Thank you! Oh! Uh, uh, after you again, B2. Oh, thanks, B1. <laughs> you want me to teach you, Bananas? You're the best fixer we know, Charlie. You can teach us all about how to fix things properly. Without having to use lots of black tape all the time. I'd love to teach you about repairing things, Bananas. Jama Rama! We knew you'd help us. And there's no better time for your first lesson than right now. banana -rific. Let's start with the basic tools you need for repairing things. The screwdriver, the spanner and the hammer. Pajama-tastic! Now let's get fixing. Thank you, Charlie. But, uh, but bananas! Bye, Charlie! Bananas, wait! Oh, dear. Now, where did I put that phone? Now that we have the right tools, we can fix anything. And we can fix things for our friends, too. I know. Why don't we visit the teddies? Yes, they must need something fixed. And we can do it for them. Do you see that, B1? I see it, B2. Amy! Hello, Bananas. This is your lucky day, Amy. Is it? We'll have that fixed in no time. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Uh, uh, what are you fixing? This wobbly wheel, of course. It will wobble no more. But that wheel's always wobbled. It's no problem. And it never will be a problem. Not after we fix it. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Bananas? You bet. These are Charlie's special tools. We've just been to his place for a lesson. There you go, Amy. Try it out. OK. Hey! It doesn't wobble. 
another great fix-it job. By the fix-it bananas. Thanks, bananas. Our, Our pleasure, pleasure, Amy. Let's find more things to fix, B1. Right with you, B2. Morgan's always got stuff that's broken. But it won't be broken for much longer. Morgan! Gosh, the bananas really did fix this wheel. Uh, well, I think they did. Hi, Bananas. Do you have something that needs fixing? Anything at all. Uh, no, I think everything's OK, thanks. Well, there has to be something. Aha! This shelf. That shelf? It's not very strong. But we can make it strong. You can? How? By doing this. And doing this. Now for a test. A comic book test. A double comic book test. A triple comic book test. Wow, that's brilliant. That is a lot stronger. It's just another fix-it job by, by the, the Fix-It bananas. bananas. We'll see you later, Morgan. We've got more fixing to do. See you and thank you. We've helped Morgan and Amy. Now let's find Lulu and help her. I love fixing B2. It's such a great way to make our friends happy, B1. What a great job. The bananas really are great fixers. Huh? Ah! Oh, bananas. La, 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 la. Let us do that, Lulu. Because that's a fixing job. What do you mean, Bananas? Hmm, this stand is all shaky. You don't want to paint on a shaky stand. But, Bananas, it's shaky because you're shaking it. It won't be shaky after we fix it. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Are you sure this will work, Bananas? Nothing could be easier, Lulu. Just leave it to us. There you go. See? No more shakes. Oh, that does seem better. All in a day's fixing for the Fix-It Bananas. Thank you so much, Bananas. Where did I put that phone? Aha! I knew you were in here somewhere. Hello? Morgan, how are you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. I'll be over straight away. Now that we've helped our friends, B2, it's time to do some fixing for ourselves, B1. La, 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 la. Lulu, stop. Did the bananas fix anything for you? Oh, yes. And they did a great job. No, they didn't. What? Anything the bananas fix doesn't stay fixed. It just gets worse. Oh, dear. I thought this might happen, and it's my fault. The bananas said that you gave them a lesson in fixing things, Charlie. I did, but I didn't. Uh, they were so excited about our first lesson, they didn't stay for the lesson. But they did a good job on my easel. They fixed your easel? Stand back, everyone! All done, B1. Fixed to perfection. Everything's like new again. And we've fixed it without any big black tape. There's only one thing we need to do now. Find a use for all this black tape. Hmm. Bananas! That's the teddies. Maybe they have more things for us to fix. Great! Bananas! That's Charlie. Huh, he must want to see what his best fixing students are doing. Then let's let them in. Stop your work. No more fixing. There is no more fixing. Because we fixed everything. Everything? 
everything that needed fixing is fixed. Bananas, be very quiet. And slowly walk to the door. Don't make any sudden movements. Is this a game? A fun game? No questions, Bananas. Just leave the house quickly. But why? What's happening? What's wrong with our house? It's your fixing, Bananas. Nothing you fix stays fixed. But we use Charlie's special tools. Why did things go wrong? Because learning to fix things properly takes lots of time and training. It does? It does. And we didn't spend enough time. You didn't. Or learn enough lessons. Correct. We're sorry. It's okay, Bananas. Everything can be fixed, and we'll help fix it. And while we do it, I'll give you lots of lessons about how to fix things properly. Oh, thanks, Charlie. And you too, Teddies. Then, then we'll, we'll really be, be the, the Fix-It Bananas. I suggest that we all start bright and early tomorrow morning. But before we do that, you're all invited to afternoon tea in our back garden. It's our special way of saying thank you. See you all in one hour! Wow, Bananas! This looks terrific! Splendid indeed! What delicious food! Thanks, everyone! Come and eat! Thanks, Thanks bananas. bananas! Is this table strong enough for all this food? It should be! We fixed it only last week! You what? Close. We could have had the worst accident ever. But we saved everything. Wow! Oops. Now we remember. We fixed those chairs too. Sorry. Oh, bananas. <laughs> B1? I have a pyjama-tastic feeling about today. I have the same feeling too. It's going to be a wonderful day. A very wonderful day. It's a windy day, B2. But a wonderful windy day, B1. Who shall we go and see, B2? Why not our friend Bernard? Bernard? Why Bernard? Because we can see him right now. Uh, bananas! <laughs> can you grab my hat, please? We'll get it, Bernard. Leave it to us. This is a tricky hat, B2. Very tricky, B1. I'll come from that way. And I'll come from that way. Now! Got it! <sighs> Good work, Bananas. Well done. Our pleasure, Bernard. Always happy to help a friend. Oops! Uh, no matter, Bananas, I'll uh, get it back into shape. <laughs> More or less. 
We're sorry, Bernard. We hate to upset you on such a wonderful day. Wonderful? Today? I think not. Oh? oh? Why isn't it wonderful, Bernard? I've been doing my best to bird watch, but all the birds have flown away because of this confounded wind. But I'm a Barkington, and Barkingtons never give up. Cheerio, bananas! Good luck, Bernard! We hope you find some birds to watch. Bernard isn't having a wonderful day at all. Maybe it'll turn wonderful later. Help! Someone needs help! help! Rat needs help. We're, We're coming, coming, Rat! What's going on, Rat? The door! Close the door, Bananas! The, the door! door. Whoa. <laughs> Are you all right, Rat? Oh, no! Are you hurt? I've bent a whisker! Oh, what a day! A terrible day! A terrible day? An awful day. An awful day? First, I get sent these umbrellas by mistake. What am I to do with them? Who wants umbrellas on a windy day? And just look at this mess. And now, I've got a bent whisker. We'll help you clean up, Rat. Oh, you will? Oh, that's good of you, Bananas. Then maybe the day won't be so terrible. It might even get to be... A wonderful day! A wonderful day? Never! <sighs> Bernard isn't having a wonderful day. Rat isn't having a wonderful day. Is anyone having a wonderful day? Grab it! I'm trying! It's going everywhere! The teddies! Do they need help? I think they do need help. We're coming! We're here, Teddies. We'll help you. Catch our washing bananas. The wind is blowing it all over the place. We've lost them. Grab some others. There. I see it. was fun too. And what a great swing. Whee! Bananas, are you okay? We're okay. Not a scratch. This wind. It won't stop. Oh no. Look out. Our washing. <laughs> this might not be a good time to ask. But are you Teddy's having a wonderful day? No! Fair enough. I didn't think so. No one's having a wonderful day, B1. And if none of our friends are having a wonderful day... 
How can we have a wonderful day? Everyone is having troubles. All because of the wind. If only their troubles could fly away on the wind, B2. Then we might all have a wonderful day. Wind? Fly? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's Let's Make Something Wonderful time! Just look at our clothes. Oh, we have to wash them all over again. How can we? We can't hang them up in all this... wind. Hello, Teddies. We've got a surprise. We know you'll love it. But we need to borrow that sheet. This sheet? That's the one. Thanks, Teddies. What do you need it for, Bananas? That's the surprise. Be at our house in one hour. And you'll find out all about it. <laughs> Whisker, it's all your fault. Oh, yes, it is. I'm putting you away and you'll never come out. Bad umbrellas. Rat. Rat! Bananas? We don't want to come in and let the wind in again. So can you hand us out the umbrellas? All of them? All of them. If you want them, you can have them. Ready? <laughs> Thank you, Rat. Why do you want them, Bananas? Come to our home at two o'clock and you'll find out why. Oh, oh, blast! No sensible bird is out in this weather, so what am I doing out here? Bird! Bananas! What are you doing in this awful wind? We needed to see you. So we can borrow your hat. My hat? Could we have it? You may, but whatever for? Be at our home at two. And you'll see what for. That's everything we need, B1. Now we have to make it, B2. Then make it, we will. Teddies, are you here for the banana surprise? We are, Bernard. What could it be? We're about to find out. Bananas! We're all here! Come on in! The surprise is ready. Everyone's had a terrible time today. All because of the wind. So how can we turn a terrible day into a wonderful day? Even though it's very windy. Oh! <gasps> Right. That's terrific! <laughs> Quite a surprise! But will it fly? Um, we're not very sure. To be honest, we have no idea. <laughs> we can easily find out. Let's try it! Ready, Ready to, to launch, launch kite? kite? Let's get some speed up! On my command, forward! Letting go now! Up, up, fly, fly! Oh, it flies! <laughs> what do you think, everyone? Is this good or is this good? Marvelous! Great! Brilliant! Very cheesy! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful day, Bananas. You don't have to tell us, Amy. We already knew it. <laughs> so what are we going to do today, B1? I know what we should do first, B2. What's that, B1? Have breakfast. Good thinking, B1. Ooh. Let's see what's in the fridge, B2. That 
That's funny, B1. Half of that yummy fruit salad we made yesterday is missing. It can't be, B2. We haven't eaten any yet. We haven't, B1, but somebody has. Look! Someone must have eaten our fruit salad in the night, B2. But who? It's a mystery. A mysterious mystery. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's Detective, Detective Bananas time! Now let's look for clues. Ow! Sorry, Detective B1. Uh, no problem, Detective B2. I think I found a clue. Look! Hmm, muddy footprints, Detective B2. And they lead right to the fridge, Detective B1. Which means they were made by... The, the Fruit Salad, Salad Snitcher! Let's follow the footprints, Detective B1. Right, Detective B2. Hello, Bananas! So, why are you in your detective gear, Bananas? We've got a mystery to solve, Lulu. Someone ate our fruit salad while we were asleep. But who would do such a thing? The Fruit Salad Snitcher! Uh, bananas, do you mind if I eat the rest of the fruit salad? No, Morgan. The bananas need the rest to catch the snitcher. Do we? Why, Lulu? Because if the snitcher ate half the fruit salad last night, he might come back for more tonight. You're right, Lulu. And if he does... The Detective Bananas will be waiting for him! Let's make a hiding place, Detective B1. So the fruit salad snitcher won't notice us. Hmm. I know, Detective B1. We can pull out the sofas and hide on them. It's nice and comfy, Detective B2. We might have to stay awake all night, Detective B1. Oh, no problem, Detective B2. Detective B2. Let's go and talk to him. Hello? Morgan? What did he say? It sounded like... What does... mean? I think it means he's asleep. Asleep? I've heard about this, Detective B1. It's called, um, sleepwalking. It looks... Like Morgan is also sleep eating. You know what this means, Detective B1? Morgan is the fruit salad snitcher. What should we do, Detective B2? I don't know, Detective B1. We'd better ask the teddies in the morning. You think I ate your fruit salad? You were asleep. Asleep? He was sleepwalking. That's impossible! We saw you! Well, that does explain why there were muddy footprints on our floor this morning. <gasps> See? They match the footprints in our house. Exactly, Detective B2. I'm sorry, Bananas. It's not your fault, Morgan. Well, if I do it again, just wake me up. No, Bananas, don't! It says here you should never wake a sleepwalker. Why not, Lulu? Because they can get a bad fright. Then how do we stop him? Yes, how? <gasps> I know, Bananas. Why don't you just lock your front door? Then Morgan won't be able to get in. Great idea, Lulu. That'll definitely solve the problem. The 
there's someone at the door, B1. Uh, I'll get it, B2. Wait, B1, stop! <laughs> we can't open the door. Why not? Because it must be Morgan, sleepwalking again. He's going away, Detective B1. Then it worked, Detective B2. Let's have some fruit salad to celebrate. Who's that climbing in the window? Oh no, it's Morgan. Oh. He really likes our fruit salad, Detective B1. He certainly does, Detective B2. your fruit salad again. You did. But how could he get in if the door was locked, Bananas? He climbed in through the window. Oh dear. Well, if that didn't stop him, what else can we try? I've got an idea, Bananas. Seven, eight, nine. How many more do I have to do, Amy? As many as you can, Morgan. Oh. Amy, I still don't understand how all this exercise will stop Morgan sleepwalking. <laughs> Bananas, if we wear Morgan out, he'll sleep so deeply he won't have any energy to sleepwalk. Oh, that is good thinking, Amy. Very good thinking. Oh, I can't do any more. Just a few star jumps then. Oh, do I have to? Come on, Morgan. We'll do them with you, won't we, Detective B1? Uh, if you say so, Detective B2. But Morgan might have to show us how. All right. Watch this, Bananas. One, two, see? It's easy. Come on, Bananas. Ready, set, go! <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Detective B1. What is it, Detective B2? Morgan's back again. Look. Oh, no. What's he doing, Detective B2? Poor Morgan. All that exercise has made him so tired. He can't even sleepwalk without taking a nap. Where's he going now, Detective B1? I don't think he knows, Detective B2. We'd better stay close, Detective B1. There's no telling what he might run into. Quick, he's going to hit the chair. Oof! Now he's heading for the table. <laughs> he's got the fruit salad out, Detective B1. But does he have the energy to eat it, Detective B2? Neither do we, Teddies. Looks like we'll just have to stop making fruit salad. Our favourite breakfast. Oh. Wait a minute, Bananas. I think I've got an idea. What is it, Morgan? Well, what if I didn't have to sleepwalk to get the fruit salad? What if the fruit salad came to me instead? Uh, how could the fruit salad do that? It doesn't have any legs, does it? No, I mean, what if the fruit salad was where I could get it without having to sleepwalk? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's fruit salad at Teddy's time! There you go, Morgan. A nice fresh bowl of fruit salad right by your bed. So now if you get hungry in the night, you won't have to walk anywhere. I'm sure this will work. So are we, Morgan. Good night, Bananas. Good, Good night, night, Morgan. Well, Detective B1, that's another case solved. Yes, Detective B2, the Detective Bananas have done it again. Ah, uh, there's just one problem, Detective B1. What's that, Detective B2? Well, now that our fruit salad is at the Teddy's place, what happens if we get hungry in the night? Oh, dear. That is a problem. Huh? Bananas?
Johannes? What are you doing here? Oh, sorry, Morgan. We just got a bit hungry. That's all. Oh, bananas. Would you mind if I had some too? Of course not, Morgan. Hmm, thanks. What's going on? We thought the fruit salad was supposed to be for Morgan. Uh, we're sorry, Teddies. It looked so delicious. We just couldn't resist coming over to have some too. Oh, bananas. <laughs> <laughs>